And they're getting set to kick off. Chris Arnes will kick it away. And again, the deep man is Kenny Watson for the Nittany Lions. There's a pretty good wind at his back. He probably will put this into the end zone, and that's what you'd like to do. Make him start from their own 20. Don't give him a chance for the big play. It's actually more of a crosswind right now. Here comes Arnt from the left angle. It's a high end over end kick, not too deep. Running under it is Watson at the 8-yard line to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, up the middle, 25-30. Hit a knockdown as he rolled across the 35, out to the Penn State 36. Penn State will start from their own 36-yard line. McQuarrie over center. Quick pitch, he missed to the right side behind Clary's block. And he battering ran his way across the 40 to the 41-yard line. They've got to tackle him early, not let him get a full head of steam up. Very vicious, wide to the near side, Nastassi wide to the right. Play action, fake McQuarrie, throwing deep over the middle, incomplete, too high. Double tight end set. Left hand set eye. Pettigrew in motion back towards the line. Play action fake. And there's going to be a sack back at the 30-yard line. The Boilermakers ran all over McQuarrie. Led by Willie Fell. The middle. Two men are deep. Sutherland and Winston. Vinny Sutherland backpedals. Makes a fair catch at the Boilermaker 22-yard line. Long count by Billy Dickin. Three-man front for the Nittany Lions. Cross up, flanker reverse. Sutherland to the 25, gets a block. He gets outside the 30, 35, and run out of bounds at the Boilermaker 38-yard line. 15 yards for Sutherland, his longest run of the year. That gives him 70 yards in 10 carries. Slot to the near side, offered wide to the left. And a handoff, no, play action fake. Bootlegging to the right is Dickin. He goes back to the left, and he runs to the sidelines and dives out of bounds, taking a yard loss. Inside Willie Tillman, back after missing the last three games. Trips to the right. Man in motion is Watson from the left-hand side to the right. Dickin with a hitch pattern out on the right side. Jones gets the block. He's to the 40. Cuts back at the 45 and struggles out near the 47 or 8-yard line. Slot left and right. Winston in the slot to the left inside Alford. Sutherland inside. Tillman on the near right-hand side. Shotgun spread. Inside handoff. Fake. Go on the left side. Popped by Winston. He's nailed immediately at the Penn State 49. And second down and the short eight. Ball just across the 50 yard line. The snap to Dickin. Here comes the rush. Fires upfield. And he had Tillman open and throws it behind him. Incomplete. It offered wide to the near side on third down and long. The Boilermakers ranked third in the Big Ten on third down conversion percentage at 45. And there's a screen. Now Watson, he's looking for a block. He cuts back. Straight arms and Nittany Lion can't get it though. Inside the 45. Down in the yard from the Nittany Lion 43. There's a snap. Rogers tries to pooch one. He hits it high. Floating kick. It's going to go into the end zone. Oh my. He didn't even try for the sidelines. Nittany Lions, second possession, starting from the Penn State 20-yard line. Straight high formation, balanced set of wide receivers. Enos slips to the outside and runs over Hawthorne, who got him by an ankle. Folks has caught 14 passes for one touchdown. And there's a fumble snap from center at the 30-yard line, a big pile. Nastasi wide to the near side, Jerovicius in the slot. Now they move Scioli over to tight end right. Now here comes Jerovicius in motion, reverses back to the left-hand side, and again to Enos, and Enos battles his way, and I'm not sure he got the first down. And now Jerovicius comes in motion, left-hand set eye. They give to Enos, and Enos hit the backfield, spins away and stretches out and gets four yards on the play. McQuarrie brings him up on second down and six, no score. Early in the first quarter, play action fake. He looks, he fires to the right-hand side, and a sliding catch made by Jerovicius. Hot to the near left-hand side. Eye formation. They give to Enos. He wants to run back to the right-hand side. Gets a good standoff block. Gets hit and knocked out of bounds, and he crosses the 50-yard line. And Did not play in the fourth quarter, so he's done it at the beginning of the game. Straight eye formation. Play action fake. Rolling to the left now as McQuarrie throws, and Fields makes the catch and falls to the Boilermaker 39. College right down the street. Slot to the right-hand side. Left hand eye. Here's a pitch now. He is coming to the near side. And he's cut down right at the 40 yard line. 8.05 left to go in the first quarter. No score here at Ross Aid Stadium. Again, they shift the tight end Scioli to the left hand side. Slot to the right. Now the slot man in motion is Jerovicious. He reverses back to the right hand side. And McQuarrie, play action fake. Steps up, runs to the right side, and throws this one away. There was nobody near Fields and Jerovicious. They're both wide to the right on third and ten. Penn State at the Purdue 39. Back to throws McQuarrie. He's hit as he throws. And it is incomplete. Jerovicious. Oh, they're going to roll it caught. Right behind him. That pigeon in the punt for the second time, averaging 42 and a half yards a kick. Now he hits a high, soft kick. And it's caught inside the five-yard line by Penn State. Balance set of wide receivers, double tight end set. 
Watson lining up four yards deep in the end to the left. Dickens over center on second down and eight. And he hands off to Watson, who tries the left-hand side, turns the field across the 10, out across the 13 to the 14-yard line of first down. He was able to get the first down. Nine-yard pickup, Boilermaker ball at the 15-yard line. Oh, Watson left a count too soon, but no call. He burrows off right guard and tackle, and the pile surges forward out to the 18-yard line. Slot to the left-hand side, Alford wide to the near. He'll, slot, he'll be testing David Macklin. And on a draw, they give to Watson up the middle, a hole across the 25, the 30, the 35, out to the 39-yard line. Pull down from behind. First down at the Boilermaker, 39. Penn State jumping off sides. Rolling out to the uh, handoff inside, and uh, this spot remains first down. Dickens over center. Penn State shifts a bit with the linebackers. On first down and five, Dickens drops back to pass, fires down the near sidelines, and threw it out of bounds. And Dickens is 3 of 5 for 20 yards. Watson in the slot to the left. Jones in motion to the left. There's a pattern out on the left side. Watson makes the catch, breaks one tackle, battled his way for the first down. 4 of 6 for Dickens, good for 21 yards. Trips to the right. Tight end is Blackman on the left. And to get to Watson, cut to the near side. He's pulled down at the 45-yard line again by Jason Collins. In the slot to the left is Isaac Jones and Brian Alford wide to the near side. Watson is the tailback, Dickens over center. And on a draw, they get to Watson. And Watson is smelled out immediately by Penn State. Third down and four for the Boilermakers. Alford wide to the near side, trips to the left. Nobody behind the quarterback, Billy Dickens. Dickens takes the snap, three-step drop, out of the right side, caught by Blackman, he's got the first down as he stumbles across the 40. Chris Daniels yet to catch a pass, but he threw for a touchdown last week, and a double flanker reverse option is wide to the left. Now they motion Watson out to the right, Dickens back to throw, fires to Blackman, a second straight catch. It's a short gain inside the 35. This is the 11th play of the drive, slot to the left-hand side. Blackman a tight end on a strong side right. Watson is the tailback. Delay game on the offense. And why are we calling a timeout? Daniels wide to the near side. I wonder if Alford got dinged a bit. He's been out of there for the last three or four plays of this drive. Watson is the tailback. He gets the handoff, runs up the slot, and runs over a Nittany Lion who does trips to the left. Alford wide to the near side. He's back in there. Dickin in the shotgun spread. Takes the snap from center. Great blocking over the middle of Blackman. He's got the first down. Battling inside the 25 to the 23-yard line. They've been the dominant team here. Boy, that hurt. That's going to cost them 22 yards. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Oh. Remains. Dickin over center. Maybe checking off here. And quick two-step drop, slant on the right side, caught by Jones at the 25, and pulled down by Jason Collins on a great one-armed open field. You can always look at a number of guys that have been outstanding, but I don't. I think Tiller is the biggest coaching story in the country. Slot to the left-hand side, Alford wide to the right, first play, second quarter. Hand off to Watson. He wriggles free. He's to the 15. He's down to the 10-yard line. First and goal, Boilermakers. Slot to the near left-hand side, Tillman and Jones, Alford wide to the right. And here's a checkoff at the line of scrimmage on first and goal from the 10. Quick drop by Dickens. Fires over the middle. Touchdown, Isaac Jones! He ran a post right over the middle, and Dickens split two Penn State defenders. Isaac Jones with an 11-yard touchdown. What a beautiful play on that one. There's a try for the extra point. It's no good. It hit the left upright. That's the first miss all year. Dickens on a post right at the middle. Feathering it into Isaac Jones for an 11-yard touchdown reception. There's the boot by Arntz, a sailor, coming down, taken by Fields at the five-yard line. Make that Watson. And he is hit and knocked down as he crossed the 20 to the 22-yard line. McQuarrie over center. Jerevicious in motion, I formation, wide receiver to the right to get Enos up the middle. Shake free, battles out across the 25. Brown to the left-hand side. Slot right, Jerevicious in motion, right-hand eye. Cleary is the blocking back. They give to Enos. He's got a hole. He's to the 30. First down as he battering uh, rams his way to the 35. It's, it's tough to bring it down. Penn State stays in the eye. Play action fake. Put legging to the left and McCleary looking deep for Shappy Field. Now they chase him back to the right. He comes to the near side. He's to the 35, to the 40, and shouldered out of bounds at the Boilermaker 44-yard line. Second down and short for Penn State. Cleary and Enos in the eye. Balance set of wide receivers. Jerevicious wide left. Fields wide to the near side. Strong side left. And to give to the short back. And Cleary's got the first down. High formation. 
Now here comes Fields through to the right-hand side. And again to Enos. He's grabbed in the backfield, slips off the first man, breaks another tackle. He's to the 50, to the 45, and down to the 43-yard line. Watson with 56 yards and nine carries. First down, Penn State at the Boilermaker, 43. And again, Enos dropped the ball, and the Boilermakers fall on it at the 41-yard line. Leo Perez. And the Boilermakers have it at the Purdue 41-yard line, leading six to nothing. Slot to the far right-hand side. Watson is the tailback. Nittany Lions have almost eight men up on the line here. And Dickon is checking off. Sprint draw to the right-hand side. Watson with a hole. He's across the 50, battling his way to the Penn State 46 yard line. Slot to the near left-hand side. Jones inside Tillman, offered wide right. And to give to Watson again. Up the middle, he's to the 40 and picked up. Oh, my. One leg from going all the way. Second down, a yard to go. Watson with 77 yards, an average of seven yards a carry. Play action for Dickon, fires, tips up, and juggled and drop. Offered was grabbed. Third down and a yard. Balanced set of wide receivers. Hand off to Watson. Watson hit, and he didn't make it. No gain on the play. And it feels comfortable gambling, especially the way the defense is playing. Slot to the left-hand side. Watson the tailback. Dickon over center. And a handoff to Watson. And he battles in there, and it's going to be very close. Crowd is in it. Penn State up. High formation. Both ends are in tight. Play action fake. And now scrambling to the right. Looking, looking, looking. McQuarrie throws downfield. Intercepted and drop. Oh, the Boilermakers had it. He threw that one into triple coverage. McQuarrie is only two for six for 21 yards. And he drops back to throw. Fires over the middle. Through the hand to the tight end. Touch O'Brown. And now Penn State lines up with trips to the right. Enos in motion to the left-hand side. Cleary is the only setback. Dropping back to throw, looking, looking, and now scrambling to his right. McQuarrie throws a field, and the catch is made by Cleary across the 50-yard line. First down, Penn State. Makers are sick of uh, second-team fullbacks hurting him in football games. Cleary's doing a good job so far. Here comes Enos to the near side. Boilermakers seal off the outside, and they wedge him back in. And tight slot on the near side. Pettigrew inside field. Now he goes in motion to the left. Double tight end set. Deuce backfield for the first time. Play action fake. Looking, McQuarrie firing downfield, and Fields comes back with a diving catch at the Purdue 25. Now they shift Schioli to the tight end on the left-hand side, and they drop Enos into the I formation. In motion comes Fields to the right to give to Enos. He starts up the middle, cuts to the near side. He's across the 20, breaks the tackle, and down inside the 15. Lee Johnson. Give him another yard, first down at the 12. Slot to the left-hand side, Pettigrew inside Nastasi. Right-hand set eye, quick pitch to Enos, and he's skipped by Mike Rose, but he's cut down at the 12-yard line. Greg Smith, he's the only wide receiver. Now Cleary in motion, and to give to Enos, coming back to the right-hand side, tripped up, slips off, and gets inside the 10, Hartwheel down at the 8-yard line. Jerovicious wide to the left, Fields wide to the near side. Left-hand set eye on third down and six. Back to throw McQuarrie. Throws one in the end zone, and it's a touchdown Penn State. That time Bell was screened from the ball on a perfectly another timing route to Shaffy Fields, who screamed Bell away from the ball. Nastassi to hold. There's a snap a bit high. The kick is up, and it is good, and Penn State takes the lead. 7-6. Seven to 7-08 seven left. Hit the left upright after the Boilermakers are taking the lead. There's a high end over end kick. Sailing back. Lofton at the goal line. One yard deep. He'll bring it out. He's to the five, to the ten. Sidesteps one man and battles his way out near the 19-yard line. Offer to be testing Anthony King, who is now in at cornerback. Watson is the tailback. And to give to Watson, tries the short side of the field, gets the block, and managed to battle his way across the 15. Guys take the wrong angle pursuit when they try to bring him down outside. Rips to the near left-hand side. There's the bubble screen out to Jones. He's got an alley to the 20, 25, 30, and stepped out of bounds at the 32-yard line. 49 yards and four catches for Isaac Jones. Watson in motion out of the backfield. Double tight end set, slot to the right. Dickon back to throw. Pump fakes, now looks, fires deep, looking down the sideline. Watson can't reach it as he had blown right by. This drive started inside the Purdue 10-yard line. Penn State leading 7-6, 6 09 to go in the half. Again, they motion Watson out to the left, trips to the right. Dickon back to throw. Little short pass, and up. A- Tipped up in the air, and it's intercepted by... No, so they're going to rule it down. Incomplete it. Trips to the right, slot to the left. First time we've seen five wideouts in there now for the Boilermakers on third down and 10 from the Purdue 31. Snap to Dickon. Four-man rush. Dickon steps up, fires, and too high. He hit 
The left hand, all target. High snap. Hazer gets it down. Gets the kick away, and it's a dandy. Backpedaling. And it looked like, almost like he touched the ball, and Sullivan is going to down it inside the Penn State 20. Produced 77% shooting percentage. Slot to the left for Penn State. High formation. They shift the tight end. Switcho Brown to the right-hand side. Here comes Jerevicious in motion. McQuarrie with a long count on a draw. The give to Enos. He pulled down for a loss. And he did not He did not get the block on uh, Roosevelt Colvin. Colvin and Moore, the defensive end. There's a roll out to the left. McQuarrie throws upfield. Enos makes the catch and is pulled down at the 27-yard line. 444 left to play in the half. Pettigrew wide to the near side. Nastasi wide to the right, or left rather, and they shift the tight end to the right-hand side. That's Brown. Pettigrew in motion, goes through. Play action. McQuarrie fires out on the right flat. He's got Cleary open at the 35. Knocked down at the 39-yard line. The delayed receiver out of the backfield. Jarevicius wide to the left. Fields wide to the right. And bumping into Enos, he still breaks the tackle to the 45 and the 50. 45 and roll down there. Got most of the starts early until Bell beat him out this week. Left hand set eye, and they give to Mitchell. No, play action fake. Coming to the near side, the catch is made by the tight end, Cuncho Brown. Left hand set eye, feels wide to the left. Now Pettigrew in motion from right to left. And to give to Enos, they get standoff blocking, and he's got near a first down. He's going to be yanked down a yard and a half, two yards short. Four down territory for Penn State, I would think. High formation, third down, just a little bit less than two yards to go. Scioli's a tight end, handoff, and up the middle is Enos. He's got the first down all the way to the 30-yard line. High formation, Jerevicious wide to the left, Fields wide to the near side. And again, they get to Enos. He's hit from behind, and Lee Brush pulled him down. He lost a yard or two on the play. Slot to the near right-hand side. Pettigrew inside Fields. And McQuarrie, play action fake. Fires deep over the middle, incomplete. And they're going to call pass interference on Henry Bell. It's a big penalty with one minute yeah. 34 left in the half. Pekas Pettigrew wide to the left, field wide to the near side. Quick pitch. Venus to the far side, just by one man. Cut down as they cross the 15 to the 14 yard line. Penn State took their time. There's only a minute left in the uh, half now. Deuce backfield, slot to the right. McQuarrie back to throw. Fires downfield. Jerevicious had the ball knocked loose, out of bounds. Incomplete. Fields wide to the left. He's been the go to guy. Pettigrew wide to the near side. Third down and six. At the bottom, maker 14. They start Cleary in motion. Quick pitch. Here comes Enos. Flank to reverse. No. Enos going to keep it. He's to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. He goes in for the touchdown. They fake the flank to reverse. Enos has enough quickness to get to the outside. He tiptoed down the near sideline and kept his balance. And the Nittany Lions have taken charge of the game now after the Boilermakers dominated early. 14 to 6 with 48 seconds left to go. Penn State now with 200 yards in total offense. Purdue with 184. Tim Newton like that. There's a kick. High end over end kick. Compton waits for it. Coming up. Takes it. Drops it. Picks it back up at the 12-yard line. He pops through and spins away. Lost the ball at the 22-yard line. The Boilermakers recover. Oh, my. Already got the play call. Slot left and right. Watson lining up behind Dickin. 14-6 Penn State. Purdue starting from their own 22-yard line. Dickin quick drop. Square out on the right side. Incomplete. Slot left. Slot right. Shotgun spread. Watson to the right-hand side of Dickin on second down and 10. He takes the snap. Steps up. Avoids the run. Fires deep. He's got Winston open. And he makes the catch at the Penn State 25-yard line. Winston took it away. Shotgun spread for Dickin and the Boilermakers. Winston to the left-hand side of the quarterback. Dickin takes the snap. Now he moves to the right, looking, directing Winston downfield. Sets up, throws, and he stepped out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds. Winston inside Alford on the near side. Alford hadn't caught a pass today. Sutherland inside Tillman on the right. There's a snap to Dickin. He gets some blocking. Fires down the right side, and it's incomplete. Looking for Tillman deep in the end zone. Now this time Sutherland lines up inside Tillman on the left. Alford and Winston wide to the right. The snap to Dickin out of the spread. Steps up. Fires a sideline pass. Caught by Alford. That's his first catch of the game. This will give him nine points and a little momentum going into the locker room. A 42-yard try with 10 seconds to go. There's the snap. The place is by Dickin. The kick by Shane Ryan. It's long enough.
darts forward and does. He bounces it down the middle, takes a high bounce, picked up by one of the tight ends for Penn State and out to the 40-yard line. That's what it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, it does. McQuarrie just drops down on one knee, takes a one-yard loss, and that's the end of the first half. Well, the Boilermakers have a slight lead in total offense, 237 yards to 200 for Penn State. Actually, about 199 now for the Nittany Lions. But Penn State has the biggest stat of all, and that's the lead on the scoreboard. It's 14-9 here at half. He now has 1,046 yards. From the left angle, Forney moves forward and hits a high short end-over-end kick. And uh, let's don't fight over it, boys. Picked up by Haddad, and he's to the 25 and knocked out. He and Clopton, Clopton tried it. Slot to the left, offered wide to the near side. And flank the reverse. Here comes Sutherland on the first play of the second half. Cuts back. Penn State smelled it out. Did a much better job this time. Game. Trips to the left. There's the bubble screen out of the left side. Sutherland is caught and pulled down for little or no gain by Collins. And slot to the left. Shotgun spread on third down and seven for the Boilermakers. Dickin takes a snap from center. Avoids the rush. Fires upfield. Too high for Alford to handle. He had him open. Back in single punt safety is Watson. There's the kick, and he hooks it back into the center of the field. It takes an awkward bounce, and there's a big hit as Watson picked it up on the hop. He's buried immediately. They give Penn State the ball at the 33-yard line. They line up in a straight eye formation, double tight end set. Give to Enos, rolling to the right, spin back to the left, and avoid the loss. He's to the 30, 35, and 40 and out of bounds. The Boilermakers hit him all but tied and wrapped in the back. Second down. Two high formation, balanced set of wide receivers. Penn State at the Nittany Lions 41, just underway in the second half. Quick drop by McQuarrie. Square out on the right side. That's Jura Vicious, his first catch of the game. Well, Alford's caught two, or rather, Alford caught one for two yards. Jura Vicious, two for 23. High formation, McQuarrie quick drop, slant in. Caught by Jura Vicious that time. Again, inside the 40 to the 37 yard line. Nastassi wide to the near side. A right hand set eye. McQuarrie, quick pitch to Enos. Enos turns the corner at the 35. Battles upfield across the 30. Knocked out of bounds on the far side near the 29-yard line. Head coach in 1966. His 48th year at Penn State. 32nd as head coach. Again, Enos with a handoff. Gets to the outside and runs over Hawthorne, who brings him down. Against Ohio State, he had over 200 yards, over 100 in the fourth quarter. On a draw. This time they smell it out, and he goes down after spinning away from Lee Brush. Fields wide to the right, Pettigrew wide to the near side. Double tight end set. And a drop by McQuarrie. Fires to the right sidelines, caught by Fields. He's triple teamed and brought down by Kennard and Teasley at the third down for the Boilermaker 20 yard line, about five and a half yards to go. And Penn State wants to call a timeout, but they don't get it done. Jervicious in motion, right hand set eye, double tight end set. Back to throw, looking, looking. McQuarrie fires into the end zone. But the flag is thrown. We still haven't uh, received the... Uh, now they're going to take the penalty, yes. On the offense. 15, 15 yards. yard penalty. Absolutely. The previous spot. It remains third down. Yeah. Otherwise, Rosie would have been in there again. Fields and Juravicius are wide to the near side. Now Clary in motion. McQuarry back to pass. Gets a block. Throws a little hitch out on the left side. And Field is knocked down for no gain at the 35-yard line. There's the punt by Pigeon. He feathers a beauty. And it takes a bounce and goes into the end zone. The Boilermakers got a break there. They were they stun a bit. They drop the linebacker off. They have a four-man front. Hand off to Watson. Tries to break to the outside. Get the standoff. Rocky to the 25, the 30, 35, out to the 38-yard line. Trips to the right-hand side. Now Watson in motion out of the backfield to the left-hand side. Dickin back to throw on first down. Has time. Fired. Caught by Alford. Dropped the ball. He that's Tolbert and Jones. Tolbert hadn't caught a pass all year. Hand off to Watson. Tries to slide through right guard and tackle. Gets across the 40 to the 42. And Boy, I tell you what, they sure have no problem spotting holding for Purdue, but they're missing some obvious ones against Penn State. Now, now. Second down and 20. Slot to the left. Offered wide to the near side. Shotgun spread. Dickens with Watson on the right-hand side. Takes the snap from center. Has all day to throw. Comes back to his left. Tucks the ball away. Cuts back. Sidesteps one man and goes down, stretching out to the 34-yard line. Slot right and left. 
Direct snap to Dickens. Again, he gets blocking. Now he's going to run. Grabbed by an arm. Gets away. Comes to the near sideline. Throws on the move. A catch is made and dropped again. Over. Dropped another one. There's the snap. Brandon gets the kick away. Again, he hits a wobbler. Bounces at the 30. Picked up at the 26. And coming back to the near side. Breaking a tackle is Watson. Spinning out across the 40-yard line. Kenny Watson. And there's a late flag. Right hand set eye, balanced set of wide receivers. Mike McQuarrie over center. Kevin Conlon, the center for uh, Penn State. Long count, quick pitch to Ennis. Boilermaker seal it off, and he battles his way for a couple of yards. Scioli just from left to right at tight end. Now Pettigrew in motion. And again, they give to Enos, cuts back, runs into a Boilermaker who straightens him up, and they battle him down inside the 33 yard line. Slot to the right. Now in motion comes Enos out of the backfield, leaving Clary. Dropping back. Looking, looking. McQuarrie fires upfield. Catch is made by Scioli. The tight end breaks away. He's to the 30, the 25, and run out of bounds at the Boilermaker 20-yard line. In the red zone at the Purdue 20-yard line. High formation. Balanced set of wide receivers. Strong side right. And a handoff, Enos coming back to the left. Two Boilermakers are there. He straight arms the first one, but Beasley hangs on with one arm long enough. Down and eight, Penn State at the Boilermaker 18. Fields wide to the near side, looking for him. There's a pass. The Fields came back wide open. He's to the 10, reverses, breaks away inside the five, and flung out of bounds into a snowbank by Willie Burroughs. Pettigrew, the only wide receiver in motion from left to right. And a handoff to guess who? Enos. He's in for the touchdown. Nobody laid a hand on him until he got into the end zone. Curtis Enos scores his second touchdown of the game, his 15th of the year, and Penn State has a little breathing room now. The Nittany Lions take a 20-9 lead. Five the extra point out of the hole of Joe Nastasi. There's the placement, and the boot is up and good. 72 yards and six plays go the Nittany Lions, and they lead it 21-9 to today, and that looms even bigger as the game gets later. High, short, end over in kick again. Clompton waits for it at the 14 behind the wedge. To the 25, squirt through a little hole, breaks free and crawls his way across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Query, by the way, having a great second half. He's six out of six for 91 yards after struggling most of the first half. Slot to the left, play action fake, boot leg to the left by Billy, fires out on the left flat, caught by Jones, spins away at the 40, 45, gets a block at the 50, 45, they're calling up. down and seven. Slot to the near right hand side. Alford wide to the left. Dickon over center. The give to Watson. Breaks to the outside. He's got the first down. He's to the 50. The 45. The 40. It's shoved out of bounds for the last man for Penn State. Slot to the right. Winston in motion out of the slot. Through to the left. Watson's in the slot to the left. Dickon back to throw. Fires over the middle. And just a step behind Tillman. Who tr- Second down and 10 at the Penn State 38. Slot to the near side. Jones in the slot, offered wide to the left, back to throw is Dickens. He airs it out down the right side, over the head of Jones that time, incomplete. Offered and Sutherland inside Colbert on the right. Direct snap to Dickens. He looks, side step to the left, fires over the middle, underneath to Winston. Winston at the 30, gives up the first down, now gets it back to the 27, first down. First down at the Penn State, 27, Dickens over center. And Billy hands off to Watson. Watson spins, gets inside the Penn State 25 to the 24-yard line. So the 131 yards in 18 carries. Now he lines up in a slot to the left. Jones in a slot to the right inside offered. And now Isaac starts in motion through to the left-hand side. There's the bubble screen. And this time Penn State batted the ball away. Boilermakers will recover it, but it was an incomplete pass. Well, the yards are dead even. 319 yards apiece. But Penn State leads by 12. Trips to the left, slot to the right on third down and seven. Boilermakers for the Penn State 24. Dick and looking, firing. And a great catch is made by Jones at the 15-yard line. Penn State is seven of ten. Purdue with that conversion, four of nine. First down, in motion, Jones. Slot to the right, back to throw is Dickon. He airs it out. He's got Jones open. He can't handle it. The ball might have ever been tipped so slightly by David Macklin, who is Second down from the Penn State 15. Hand off to Watson. And Penn State smells it coming, and they knock him down. Dickin, the only man behind center in the shotgun spread on third down and 10 from the Penn State 15. The snap. Dickin fires over the middle. Offered with a tough catch, but it's short of the first down. Uh, Mains third down.
That's going to make it third and 27. Shotgun spread, slot left, slot right. Direct snap to Dickin. He looks, he looks, he has to hurry. Fires downfield over the head of Alford and dropped by Sean Lee. The 49-yard try by Shane Ryan. Got a crosswind from right to left. The kick will come from the Penn State 39. There's the snap. Dickin gets it down. Ryan gets the kick away, and it's going to be short. Short by about five yards and maybe a bit wide right. So Penn State gets it back, leading 21 to 9, with 134 left to play in the third quarter. Don't forget, Penn State at one point was ranked number one in the season. Scioli in motion from left to right. Dervicious wide to the right, feels wide to the left, hand off to Enos. He spins off that first tackler again, but he lacks a little bit of speed for pass coverage. Well, Enos is uh, slowing down a bit now, dropping back to throw as McQuarrie. Fires over the middle, incomplete. He was looking for Cuncho Brown. McQuarrie's first misfire a moment ago this half. Now Enos in motion out of the backfield, slot to the left-hand side. Back to throws, McQuarrie gets away from Fells. Placement, kick, and it's good. It's 28 to 9, Penn State, with 43 seconds left to play in the third quarter. That, oh, that's going to win a lot of football games. Oh, they'll win most of them. There's the kickoff. Clopton running under it, takes it at the 16, drops it again, picks it up, runs into one of his own blockers, and he's grabbed and pulled down before he could even get started by LeVar Arrington. Slot right and left. And Dickin back to throw. Stays in there, fires up field. There's a catch by Alford at the 35-yard line. Watson got his bell rung on the previous set of downs. Direct snap to Dickin. He stays in the pocket, fires out on the right flat, caught by Haddad. Breaks a tackle across the 45. Pulled down by Nelson. That's the end of the third quarter, 28-9, Penn State. You're listening to Boilermaker Football. To Mike Allstott, he just has not had the opportunities. Uh, there's a pass out on the left flat, and Haddad dropped that one wide open. Two is four of 11 on third downs, Penn State eight of 11. There's the snap, Dickin looks, fires over the middle, and Gabe Cox with his first catch of the ball game, struggles, and may have lost the first down. The pickup of eight yards and a first down. Again, they stay in the shotgun, slot left and right, direct snap to Dickin over the middle, caught by Jones, breaks away, he's at the 20, down to the Penn State 17 yard line. This time the Boilermakers huddled up. They've got a slot left and right. Again, they stay in the gun. The snap to Dickin. Fires out of the backfield. And Haddad makes a great catch. And he's hauled in one-handed. And he's knocked out of bounds. The- That's Haddad's best play since he arrived here. Shotgun spread. Slot left and right. Dickin fires. Touchdown, Boilermakers. And it's Tolbert. No, it's, it's uh, Gabe Cox. Gabe Cox, number eight. Instead of the eight, number nine. Trips to the right. Now they send Haddad in motion to the left-hand flat. Direct snap to Dickin. He looks, he looks, he looks, he fires, and it's good. A diving catch in the end zone, and that's Isaac Jones. They held on to the ball when, they, when it was thrown to him. There were no penalties on that drive. Onside kick. I'm not sure it was supposed to be that way. And Penn State bobbles it and picking it up. First down, Penn State. The query over center from his own 32. And Penn State jumped offside. Illegal procedure. Fields wide to the left. Jurevicious wide to the near side. McQuarrie hands off to Enos. He gets a chop block in his favor. And he bounces across the 30 out to the 35-yard line. Second down about seven. Enos with 149 yards today. Slot to the near right-hand side. And a handoff to Enos again. And he's cut down. Oh, that's not Enos. That's the backup. Dropped him like a tree. Big down. Third down. Enos in motion out of the back. Field, slot to the left-hand side, back to throw, pressure from behind, and Enos wide open on the flat, makes the catch, stretches out, has the first down. Pettigrew is wide to the left, Fields wide to the near side, hand off to Enos, and Enos hit by Fells, tries to spin away, oh. double tight end set, balance wide receivers, McQuarrie back to pass, pump fake, fire, drop this time by Chaffee Fields, Penn State has the Boilermakers where they want them. Third down for Penn State. Eight yards to go. Again, Enos in motion out of the backfield. Slot to the left-hand side. McQuarrie stumbles a bit. And this time they're going to get him, maybe. Yes, he's going to finally go down at the 40-yard line. And it took forever. Four and a half.
up on the year. Pat Pigeon into punt, got the kick away. He sails one back, backpedaling. Sutherland takes it at the Boilermaker 15. Fakes right, cuts left, jukes away, and stretches out across the 25-yard line. The Boilermakers line up trailing Penn State 28-17. Slot right, slot left. Direct snap to Dickens. Dickens stand up blocking over the middle to Jones. He's the catch of the game. He's across the 35, out to the 38. Low snap dug out by Dickens. Throws this one into the Penn State bench incomplete. Outside Isaac Jones. Winston and Alford wide to the right. There's the snap to Dickens. Fires. And this time Cox is packed from behind. Again, slot right and left. Haddad is in the backfield blocking for Billy Dickens. On third and ten, he takes the snap. He looks, he stays in there. Now he's going to run. Uses the official for a block and gets out to the 48-yard line a yard short. He got it. A ten-yard scramble by Billy Dickin. First down. Slot to the right. Winston in the slot to the right. Jones in slot to the left. Inside hand off to Haddad. And he is caught and pulled out as he crossed the 50. Or make it to two yards on the play. Second down and eight. Shotgun spread again. Slot left and right. Direct snap to Dickens. He looks, he looks. Now he runs to the right. Fires. And a terrific catch by Alford on a great pass. A yard short of the... Gives him three catches for 21 yards. It gives him 1,001 receiving yards this year. A handoff goes to Haddad. And he's got the first down off right guard and tackles. The first one to do it twice. That was my catch during the timeout. There's a pass downfield. Catch is made. Good for 22 yards, one more than the three previous put together. Shotgun spread, slot left and right, direct snap to Dickens, fires over the middle, catch is made by Gabe Cox inside the 15. And that's eight receivers with catches so far today. Purdue again without a huddle, Jones wide to the left, slot left, slot right, they're going for Alford, right corner of the end zone. He caught it, but he was out. He was beyond the end line. Trips to the right, Jones wide to the near side. And Winston's in the slot to the near side. They start him in motion right. Dickens takes the snap from center. He looks. He fires. And it's picked off by Collins. He may have a touchdown for Penn State. Dickens the only guy back. Collins is knocked out of bounds by Billy Dickens who saved a touchdown. Defense can't panic here. Another score would be devastating. Another score it puts it out of reach. From the Purdue 38-yard line, Jared Vicious in motion. And a quick pitch to Enos. He cuts back inside the Boilermakers. Gang tackle him at the line of scrimmage, and there's a flag down. They've lost with the penalties today. Face mask violation. Five yards on the defense. Five yards from the end of the run. Remains first down. First and five for Penn State. Jared Vicious wide to the near side. Now he goes in motion. Double tight end set with Schioli. And Martin in there to give now to Enos. He cuts to the outside, tries to spin away, and Kennard brings him down. Well, they're not the third down yet. They're a second and one here. High formation, balanced set of wide receivers. And McQuarrie again hands off to Enos. This time he's got a hole. He's to the 20. He's going to go. 10, 5, touchdown. Enos is fourth touchdown of the game. Three on the ground, one on a 67-yard pass. There's the kick. Up and good. 35-17, Penn State. And uh, that's the score that Purdue lost at Iowa. Purdue's been penalized nine times for 91 yards, and some of them have been huge penalties. High end over end kick. Compton runs under it. Takes it at the 8, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. Through a hole. Pops out and again caught from behind just as he's about to run to daylight. Slot right and left. Shotgun spread. Direct snap to Billy. Stays in there. Fires upfield. Offered with another catch. Can't spin away from Macklin, who pulls him down. They'll give him the 42 yards. He's got the first down and straightens up, gets out across the 45 and dives out to the 48-yard line. Yeah, that referee's not going to get near that middle again. First down, shotgun spread, slot left and right. Again, Dickin out of the backfield to Haddad. He's to the 50, cuts back inside, gets hit a knockdown by Prater. Here and keeps him alive for a possible share of the Big Ten and also, more importantly, a trip to one of the Alliance Bowls. Pass over the middle, and Jones makes the catch and is pulled down a yard short of the first down by Jim Nelson, the linebacker. Purdue lines up, no huddle again, slot left and right, out of the spread, the snap to Dickin, over the middle, diving catch, first down at the Penn State 37. So Purdue's offense has uh, moved the ball at will at times today, but have had trouble putting it in the end zone. Again, out of the spread, Dickin fires over the middle, and this one is dropped by Gabe Cox 
offensive weapon in the Big Ten today. Three rushing touchdowns, one reception for a touchdown. His four touchdowns is best. Dickon pumps, fakes, and it's going to be sacked for the first time. Penn State. Billy just stood in the pocket, didn't move. Third down, there's a snap, and a, the pass upfield dropped by Gabe Cox again. This time, 0 for 1 in fourth down tries. Five out of 13 on the year. Slot right and left, 80, 15 yards here. Dickens sets up the throw, and his hit as he throws, incomplete. And that time, Penn State... But unless uh, Penn State goes on a four-and-a-half-minute drive, they'll get another chance. Dickens is one pass attempt away from the school record set by Eric Hunter. And Enos gets the handoff. He's going to lose some yards there. Second down and ten. Penn State, Pettigrew in motion. And to give to Enos again. And running behind a couple of blockers, he gets about a yard, ran laterally. Probably going to gamble here and bring a blitzing linebacker. Looks like Bell's coming. Penn State, 9 of 13. A handoff goes to Cordell Mitchell, and he battles his way for about three yards. Out across the 45 could they have defeated this year, been our Boilermaker. Shotgun spread, trips to the right, slot to the left. Dickens stays in the pocket, airs out his 60th pass attempt of the ball game, and it's short hopped incomplete. Trips to the right, slot to the left. Again, the snap to Dickens. He looks, he fires upfield, and this one is picked off again by Maurice Daniels. He's to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Penn State. That's too bad. That, that's, that's terrible because the score is going to look like a blowout when the Boilermakers are down. Try for the extra point, and it's good. 42 to 17 in favor of Penn State. 27-yard return for the touchdown. A respectable five and six record for a Northwestern team that's certainly had a letdown after winning the two previous Big Ten championships. There's a kick that sails out of bounds over on the far side. It turned out Wake was a pretty decent football team, and then Rice ran that wishbone and rushed for over 500 yards against it. Pass over the middle. Isaac Jones with another catch, and he's collared and yanked out of bounds. Puts him back over 500 total yeah. offense again. There's a snap to Dickon. Penn State's got their second unit in there now. He throws upfield to Offord. Offord makes the catch across the Penn State 40. Down to the 35. Lost the ball. And uh, they're going to rule. It's a fumble. Penn State returns it into Boilermaker territory and lost out of, knocked out of bounds there. Who has no timeouts to stop the clock. Kevin Thompson in at quarterback now. Second unit in there all the way. And they give to uh, Mitchell. He comes to the near side, and he's cut down. They play smart football. Never accused of being too fast, but played uh, heads-up football his whole career here. You mean all coaches' sons? Oh, <laughs> that you're, that you're going to indicate all coaches' sons are slow. <laughs> A quick pitch to Mitchell. All playing for the last time in ross Aid. Outstanding season with a game to go, with two games to go. Third down and three for Penn State. Quick pitch, and it's dropped in the backfield, and uh, the Boilermaker, let's see, Penn State may have recovered it. Offensive performance yardage-wise of the year. This will be the final play. And they're running up the middle. Number 22 in a Penn State uniform. That's a Heisman Trophy number. That's Kenny Watson, and that's going to do it. Penn State wins it 42-17. to the Boilermakers, too many penalties, too many mistakes, a couple of key drops. They were in it statistically, but uh, Penn State piled on near the end.